hi guys and welcome to your another very exciting adobe audition tutorial and you must be wondering that i am saying exciting at the beginning of every tutorial what's exciting about that well you learn new things and learning is the best hobby that there is ever invented by human beings or found out okay so let's begin in this tutorial i'm just gonna tell you if you are working in a multi-track session and you want to replace a piece of audio for example i have created this um, piece of audio myself you know of course you are not going to be working in something like this because uh the problem is that i have put a noise in here the others are music files and but this point in this area is noise totally noise let me tell you okay this is sound music file okay but this is a noise file and it's phone ringing right i have created this sound file uh, purposefully to use in a, a tutorial in the future which you guys might uh, encounter if you keep on watching this tutorial series okay now i want to replace this of course i want to replace it it does not make any sense you know because it's in a multi-track music multi-track session so what how do i replace it and but i do not want to replace it with something bigger or smaller i just want to replace it by the specific parameters that it has so to do that one thing is that okay the obvious way to delete it and bring another one and then match its parameters duration time place and replacement everything in the multi-track station just like this but that would be very time consuming i have to remember many things and maybe write them down probably but the easiest way is to right click on it and then go to this option which says link media it's gonna replace it the name does not say replace but linking media does do that okay if you go on there and then you can replace it with anything that you want okay i'm gonna go into okay maybe project or do we audition project file and okay tutorial project stuff okay don't turn back and stuff like this i'm gonna replace it with this uh, music as you can see the waveform has been updated and now if i play it i'm gonna reduce it sound a little you can see that it has replaced our media but it has totally kept the parameters or the duration and its placement in the multi station as it was before so this is the easy and quick and dirty way how to replace your media in the side multi track session without disturbing anything else or without deleting and replacing and copying and importing all those steps have been saved for you so you guys have to thank me so with that said i conclude this tutorial and hope to see you in the next one until then goodbye